like I said earlier, the principle of federalism is the principle of each man owns what he has. has. And everybody pays something into the center. For example, what we what obtained under the Regional. 63 um, constitution. So where the West, um, there has been attempts at re revisionism, where I've had certain brothers of mine from certain parts of this nation say that, oh, it was our granite that developed Nigeria. No, that's a lie. The West developed on cocoa, etc. The East developed on palm oil, timber, etc. The North developed on groundnuts, cotton, etc. Everybody developed based on, on resources. his resources, his priorities, and his timelines. Now, that is what federalism is about. If you have federalism, everybody still pays something. On so everybody gets a part of oil and gas. But you will be forced to look in. Even the major resource we have, which is human resource, which is not being developed, the Talakawa are being allowed to exist and roam because some people find it easier to manipulate and carry out distortions of the truth when they are dealing with an uneducated motley mob. They therefore want to keep people underprivileged. And also, it's going on all over the nation. People are not interested in developing the human capacity. And when we look at, say, India, India is now a first nation, even though it still has its poverty really, yeah. issues. <laughs> but it's a first nation because it has developed human capacity. Now, you are a trend economist, Tony Oranta. So what to you is the real cost of this struggle for resource control or for, well, for, as, you, as, as you say, a true federalism. What to you, therefore, is, this, is the cost? Because you're an economist. So well, what well, I, I, I'm happy you use the word cost because most people, uh, in, when they talk about cost, they are talking about how much a thing <laughs> goes for. But I prefer looking at what we call the opportunity cost. Mm. What should would have Gain. obtained mm. if it were not this way? As I've said, Bauchi is a very well endowed. State. And uh, Adamawa is another very well endowed state. Lagos, Lagos, um, if Lagos were earning, um, were uh, the monies accruing to Lagos from VAT were owned by Lagos, Lagos, or even monies accruing to Lagos from the ports, they the ports alone make over 200 billion, billion. naira every month. If Lagos State had that, Lagos State today would be better than Dubai. All right. Um, but then we don't want that because <laughs> we, we are not interested. Can we 